Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I wanna to show you how to make a really easy coffee cup holder. Now what I have here is I have a two by two, which is one and a half by one and a half. I've got a one by eight, which is a seven and a half by three quarter inch, and a couple three quarter inch pieces of pine here, just we're gonna use that for top, topping the whole thing off. Easy to do, and I also have these uh, single garment hooks that I picked up. I'm gonna use those to actually hold the cup. Now you could use a dowel if you wanted. Uh, that's what's in the drawing. Matter of fact, speaking of drawings, if you want a dimension sketch of this, go to 30minutewoodshop.com. There's a link in the bottom that'll take you to it. Find the, um, find the uh, blog and then go ahead and click on that and you'll find the drawing. So it's very easy to make. Um, also down there, you'll find some tools and things that I use. You might find those interesting, explore those and have some fun. So, let's start cutting. Well, sanding's done. Now we gotta do some edge routing. Sanding and rounding over the edges are done. Now we gotta move on to the assembly. All I'm doing here is I'm gonna glue it together, tack it together with a couple of, couple of uh, small brads and then let it dry for a couple hours, we'll call it good. One thing I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna put a, a, a big screw through the bottom of this. Just a little extra protection. I'm sure the glue would be fine, however, you know. So, let's get started assembly. Well, assembly's complete. Everything's put together. Now what I want to do is put a finish on this, and the finish I was looking for is a uh, washed white. So something like a cottagey beach kind of color where the, the grain will show through, and it'll give it that kind of a pickled, a little bit stronger than a pickle, but kind of a pickled look. So what I've done is I've 50-50 I've, uh, mixed paint, white paint and water, and all I'm gonna do is brush it on or wipe it on. You can kind of see how that's looking. Gives it a kind of a whitewash kind of look. And there we go. Just get this little bit on top and we'll be good. And there we go. Now we'll let it dry for about an hour, maybe not even that much because this is mostly water and a lot of the water is gonna get absorbed by the, uh, by the uh, pine. So it may dry a little bit faster. But we'll let this cure for about an hour, come back, and then we'll put the hooks on. This is one of those fast, easy, and super useful projects. And this was a fun build. I really like these kind of projects that are so useful because this is going right next to my coffee pot on the counter. I'll be able to grab a mug anytime I want and I have plenty of choices. My Marine Corps mugs, I got a couple other ones here from places I used to work. So it's always fun to be able to swap mugs out whenever you're drinking coffee or tea if you're a tea drinker. Anyway, quick and easy. Tell you what, there's a uh, measured dimension drawing in my blog at 30minutewoodshop.com. There's a link down in the bottom. You can get uh, you know, a dimension sketch for that. It'll give you most of the information that you need. You can, of course, choose to do something a little bit different if you want. Um, I made this tall enough so it would accommodate my biggest mug here for uh, the 12th Marines. It'll handle just about anything at 12 inches, center column's 12 inches. So you pick that up, 
take a look at that. Also while you're down there, you'll find uh, links to some of the materials I use. Like for instance, I'll put a link down there for these, uh, these uh, garment hooks so you can get those. Uh, tools I use, explore those. You might have some fun. You might find something uh, neat, interesting, or useful you can, you can uh, pick up. And uh, hey, I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. And until next time, folks, good making.